Thank you for awesome. waiting. Of course. Gaga, so good to see you again. Hi, nice to see you too. Um, there's a really great moment, obviously, in the first film with Joaquin when he's dancing up and down the steps. And a lot of people equate that to the moment and the place where you can say Arthur became Joker. Is there a moment and a place that you could point to where you could say, this is where Stephanie became Lady Gaga? In my life. In your life. Yeah, and it was like, it was something really bad happened to me when I was a kid. And I think that that like made me create a persona. And, uh, you know, I, I just say that to answer your question really honestly. And that actually really informed my character that, you know, Harley ultimately comes out of a broken place in Lee. And I think, you know, in the mo this movie is kind of the beginning of her in that way. Thank you for answering that. I appreciate that. Yeah. There's a really beautiful moment you have where you're taking the Joker makeup and you're putting it on Arthur, and you say, uh, I wanna see the real you. I've been lucky enough, you and I have done this a couple of times. I've also seen you perform live literally around the world. I was at Super Bowl 51. I was on the field at Wrigley in Chicago. I feel like because of that, I've had an experience to see different versions of yourself through your Thank life. You. In what moment would you say that, that your fans or people, that we're seeing the real you in the same way that you said that to him? In, in my life? Mm -hmm. You know, it's all the real me, all of it. I definitely like have played with artifice. I love costumes. Uh, I think makeup can be a fascinating way to express yourself. I'm sure it's no secret why I was interested in making this movie. You know, having an alternate personality that protects you is so much of what Joker is about. And you know, I would just say I'm all of it. And, I, and it's, it's always the real me. And I actually think in this movie that, you know, Arthur and Joker, Lee and Harley, they're both all of it too. And that's part of the like tension in the film is, you know, watching that war at play. I love that. And that's why it's, it's so good. I have a, a bit of a nerdy question for you. By nature of this story taking place in Gotham City, it stands to reason that one day Harley might see a guy dressed up as a bat. What do you think your Harley Quinn would say the moment she saw a guy named Batman? She'd probably light him on fire. Quite literally? <laughs> I really want to see that moment. <laughs> <laughs> being honest with you. Um, to give me the wrap, I just want to end by saying that, that I, like I said, I've had the pleasure of talking with you and seeing you live, and I just want you to know how much your work means to me and how much you just as a person thank and what you, you stand for you're means so to me. You're so kind. And, thank and you so I, much. I think you're the best. So seriously, thank, thank you. you for taking the time. Thank you. I really appreciate you. Thank Lady Gaga, it is an absolute honor getting to talk to you again. I love seeing you on screen, so thank you for the time today. Thank you so much. Yeah, now I love one of the themes of this movie is about music therapy, and the line is, we use music in this class to make us feel whole. When did you, Lady Gaga, know that music made you whole and that that was how you were going to change the world? You know, there's a song um, that I wrote when I was really little uh, called We'll Find a Way to Love Again. And I remember, for, it's also so silly, I think I was like 13 when I wrote that song about love. Like, what did I think that I even knew? But, you know, I remember singing it and I remember feeling whole. Yeah. And, you know, uh, there's something about songwriting, singing, acting, all of these things that um, they made me feel whole as a kid because I always felt really different. And uh, it was like the way that I healed myself was with, with the arts. I mean, as a young gay kid, I know that exact feeling. Now, how does singing in this style in this movie, because it's different than I think what people may expect from you or a yeah. typical movie musical, change you as a performer? You know, it like opened me up. It really did. I mean, the way that I, 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 I try always to bring authenticity onto stage with me when I'm performing and be as truthful as possible. But there is a showmanship sometimes to what I do that you know, would never make sense for my character, <laughs> right. but she has her own brand of showmanship. Right. And, you know, Lee is, Lee is a very broken person, um, but she finds her, you know, her power in her love of Joker. And I would say that, you know, my voice in this film is, is her voice. Right. And every woman deserves to have their own voice. 100. And she has hers. 100%. Um, I, I, I love the collaboration with Joaquin Phoenix and the love that you two have for each other. How would you describe him as an actor and collaborator? He is 
very gifted. He's very soulful. He's extremely deep. He's funny. He's so funny. I mean, I most of the time on set we were laughing. Um, and he's very creative. Um, and he takes bold choices, like choices all the time. Um, he'll try anything. Yeah. And, you know, that was really fun to work with, with him. And we, you know, I think he, he brought that out in me even more because he, my character Lee had to be his match. So I, I had to match him on set. And, you know, that's extremely intimidating and a tall order, but I definitely um, was up for the challenge. And I, I think that I, I did that in a way by having watched the first film and loving Arthur Fleck so much, his his inner life, I knew that she had to have a big one. Yeah, I love how you compliment each other. I got the wrap, Lady Gaga, such a treat. Thank you for the time. Thank, thank, you. thank you for everything. I for everything. I appreciate. Thank you, my.